Hello everyone, today I want to show you how to use MobX in just under 2 minutes. I want to show you why it's a state management solution you should consider over the vanilla approach and how it can help you keep business logic out of your widget tree. Head over to your pubspec.yaml and add the MobX and Flutter MobX dependencies. Then build runner and MobX code gen to the dev dependencies. Next we need to set up our class to house our business logic, I've called it counter. We need to define a partial class that will be generated after we make use of build runner. Lay your class out in the same way, switching variable names where necessary. In your terminal, run the flutter packages pub run build runner build command to create the generated file. Making use of the observable and action annotations will define a variable to hold the current counter value and a function to increment the counter by 1. In our main.dart we'll clean things up a bit by creating an instance of our counter class and remove the old counter increment logic. As well as this, we will remove any existing references in the widget tree to the existing state management and replace those to make use of the observable and action defined in our counter class. Wrap your widget you wish to react to a change in state in an observer. Unlike set state, observers only rebuild their children and does not redraw the full widget tree. This helps keep your app snappy and responsive. To take this example a bit further, let's add two buttons in a row to allow the user to increase and decrease the counter value. Pressing one of these buttons will kick off an action in the counter class which will update the state of the observable held within the observer widget. In the counter class we'll add a new action to decrease the counter value. After adding new values to the counter class be sure to run the build runner command in the terminal to keep the generated partial class up to date. And that's been MobX in under 2 minutes. See you next time.